Panther Magazine, the Panther Platform Lookbook and the official publication for the Panther Platform. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Derek from Panther Magazine. Thanks for checking out the channel. So there's a good amount of content here on the YouTube channel for Panther Magazine. Um, there are a few videos where I show you guys the magazine front and back. But uh, I actually haven't showed you guys what the pages look like. I think in other than one short video, uh, which was issue 21, if I'm not mistaken. So I've got a few issues here. I plan to show you guys. i got issue one here, issue six, issue 16, and issue 22, which was the last one to get released. And I'm going to show you guys the pages and uh, show you guys what the magazines look like. So as you guys see here, this is issue one of Panther Magazine. We have Mad Vic here on the cover. He runs... um. Panther Mafia, which is one of the largest Panther platform groups um, right now in the Panther platform community. There's chapters in about, I think, five or six, maybe even seven uh, different states, including a chapter overseas. Um, they're based out of Northern California. And um, yeah, everybody that was in this issue, um, when I first joined the Panther platform community, and I bought my first Grand Marquis, uh, the 2000 GS. I have an old walk around video uh, of my first Panther um, on the channel. It's one of the first videos. Um, when I bought that car and started meeting people, um, all the people I have met when I first joined the community, other than one other guy, is in this issue. So that's pretty much what this issue consists of, pretty much. Um, a pretty much uh, an article about what Panther Mafia is and his vision. A couple of pictures of his Panther. This was the first guy I actually ever met when I got in, when I got on Instagram and tried to meet other enthusiasts. Um, he's from Jersey. We actually met for the first time finally last year. I did a Panther Panther um interviews video with him. Uh, in Philadelphia, uh, it's on the channel. His name's Isaac. Um, I met him back in 21, maybe or 20. No, actually 19, around 18, 19, and we just met last year finally. So, you have car guys in New England here. He's a big automotive brand out of New Hampshire. He owns his town car. He owns a Lamborghini, I think, Murcielago. And a, he's into lowriders too. He has a he runs Eternal Rollers, which is a um, lowrider car club that's based in a few different states. And then you have Boss P seventy one. A lot of people are familiar. He makes the um, the headlights and retrofits for Panthers. Uh, he does a really good job. And uh, that's pretty much issue one. Issue one is really short, only eight pages. As you can see, the cover is kind of pixelated. It's not really clear. As well as all, it doesn't probably look like that in the video, but, <clears throat> excuse me. But all the photos are kind of pixelated. So, and you'll see the quality change as I show you guys the other issues. Then you have issue six. This is one of my favorite issues. I'm not sure why, but I do like this issue a lot. These magazines aren't in the great, the greatest condition. These are the ones I keep my my book bag, just in case. You know, this is issue six. Features a lot of different Panthers. As you can see, the quality got a lot better. By the time issue six came, the, the images are more clear. I figured out how to make everything look more uh, professional. I guess you can say. some photos this is really cool he actually just crashed this I'm not sure if he's going to try to rebuild it this is a Mercury Marauder and the as you can see here he swapped the entire inside to an F-150 um, interior and dash which is very impressive mod list for that previous car 
couple of town cars, Grand Marquis here. Another Marauder. And this is pretty much an intro, uh, introduction to the cover feature. Um, my friend Tobias here, he has a really clean Grand Marquis. Um, his mother passed away and he kind of dedicated the car to her. He was into cars and trucks and she didn't really care for him to have all those cars in the driveway. But she did like the Merc, so it was a really cool story to hear about that. And uh, that's pretty much, that's issue six. And you have here issue 16, another favorite. This is the ADTR issue. I'm, I'm actually really good friends with Chris who runs ADTR. And I was able to get an interview with him and um, and feature everything ADTR is about. And everyone in this issue has some type of ADTR uh, modification on their Panther. So I'm going to do another one soon because I know there's a lot of guys out there that have ADTR uh, work on their cars. But um, this one's pretty cool still. Got the intro page here. cool pages with some back some backstory behind some of these cars and the work that's done to it like this 08 grand marquis here only has only had 70,000 miles on it at the time um it was his third panther and all the modifications were from adtr and he when he had sent this in he only had the car for about a year so it's pretty crazy And you got a page of Chris here on the left of his uh, Aero Crown Vic. A little backstory behind it, the 1992 Crown Vic LX. Uh, the story behind how he found it, how he gave it the nickname. Um, the Rocket Couch is what he calls it. Saw Pit Motors out of New York. ADTR, Chris from ADTR again. And that's issue 16. And then you have issue 22 here. This is the most recent issue that just released. This is the Panther Performance. So people who have modified the car for racing, drifting, and fast driving. Um, I'm going to do another one soon. But these are all the guys. This is, this is what the, this issue is about. Um, my friend Humark is on the cover. As well as, as well as his mechanic, Kenny Lynch. Uh, who Merck is a legend in the printing community. He's definitely doing big things. He just finished, um, had his 2003 Grand Marquis build on the track at Spec Panther this past weekend. Um, I got some footage. I'll, I'll upload it. Uh, just some short clips of him driving the car on the track. It's pretty cool to see. This intro page here, pretty much all the sponsors and all the brands that, um, associated with and support me and I support back as well as all the car clubs that I know of and all the states that I know of um, so yeah here's a few pages you have um Carolina Interceptor here on the left I don't know if you can see that um Tale of the Dragon I think it was last year or 22 summer of 22 um Mr. Random Reviews Tale of the Dragon event um, Matt almost beat Hoonmerk. I think he was off by literally like a second and a millisecond, I think, or a second. It was something crazy. And his car is completely stopped. There's no modifications done to it. So that's really crazy. I think he's done some work, but I think it's, I think it's pretty much stopped other than the wheels. And I think exhaust. Um, you have some Mason Scott here. He's a drifter in, um, I think New Hampshire. No, Rhode Island actually. Uh, stick shift drift 4.6 on Instagram My friend Tom Nation if You guys can see that Poverty Panther he's been in like three issues already Mr. Random Reviews Has a page in this issue The Legendary 
all day. This is a interesting story. He lost his wife to COVID and he dedicated the car to her and he drifts it and puts it on the drag strip. Um, really cool story. Some more pages here. Homework. This is how Homework's car looked before it looks how it looks now. That's um that's building the Panther. And that's pretty much issue 22. There's issues where there's a lot more pages. I, know I have some issues that are 30 plus pages. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys a few of them. I didn't want to show you all of them. That would have been a really long video. And my phone doesn't really have storage. I always have to delete something. It's kind of annoying. I need to get some better equipment for my videos, but I just want to show you guys a few issues uh, to show you guys what the pages look like. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you for checking out the video. So those are pretty much the magazines here. I just want to show you guys four of them, um, as you can see. Just showed you guys these ones. Um, yeah, I just want to show you guys the magazines. If you're interested in purchasing the magazine, um the link to the, the the link will be in the the description excuse me to order a magazine i also have stickers for sale too i do plan to release more issues obviously um i just released issue 22 as you can see and um i'm already done with 23 to 28 and i already have 29 to 41 to 42 already in my email so I'm pretty I'm pretty far ahead of the magazine and I definitely plan to keep releasing so if you're interested in purchasing one again the link will be in the in the description and I also have uh, stickers as well and I do make car show displays as well too um so yeah thanks for checking out the channel in today's video and I'll see you on the next one